temperatures climbing eventually to the low 30s by lunchtime. Again, holding on to the clouds and the chance for an isolated snow shower will be a possibility. Not expecting any issues from the snow, but you may see a snowflake or two as we get into the second part of the day. Your Friday evening plans. It's going to be a chilly night, a quiet night. Temperatures eventually working their way back into the 20s. So again, slightly warmer as you're waking up on your Saturday morning. We're going to start the day with some sunshine. We do have some changes though to the weekend forecast. Saturday evening, those plans may be interrupted by rain. Rain is now sped up and it's looking like it will arrive as early as about 5 to 6 o'clock Saturday evening. Rain will be likely heavy at times, widespread. We could even have a rumble of thunder. Conditions will become breezy overnight and Sunday is looking like a very windy day. Now we're going to start Sunday with the chance for a few rain showers. Otherwise, we're done with the rain fairly early on Sunday. Temperatures will be slowly dropping as you're out and about Sunday afternoon. It's still going to be a mild day. We'll see temperatures in the 40s. It's going to be a windy day though. Not quite as windy as our windstorm from a couple of weeks ago, but wind gusts 30 to 40 miles per hour will be a possibility on Sunday. Today, still a chilly day, but we're making it above freezing upper 30s for highs, mostly cloudy skies, an isolated snow shower, partly cloudy, not as cold tonight. Back to the mid 20s, upper 40s tomorrow, some sunshine with late day rain. If you're heading out to the St. Patrick's Day Parade on Sunday, mostly cloudy, it's going to be windy, and again, temperatures will be in the 40s. Temperatures early next week fall back to right around 40 degrees Monday and Tuesday, a dry start to the week. Rain chances and warmer temperatures return Thursday and Friday.